What's no one Brandon? needs to you know that you're not getting this. laid at the water cooler. No one <laughs> cares. And, and, and no one. She's a bulldozer. Holy shit! I have no regrets for amplifying Smugbug. I have none. He's the he's the final solution to the Twitch pull problem. <laughs> I think what they're debating is uh, rights for asexual people. <laughs> I don't know. Include the... All right. Let's go. Now, what I precisely mean by this, albeit jargon of words, is that wokeism. Wokeis wokeism... He's taken that, down smart? wokeism. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Good. I'm just. Uh... Just rolling around Twitter, getting angry at women, as usual. Yes! What Boosh. did women do? Is that a Baczynski painting? Yeah, it's called Untitled. Uh, well, this whammon doesn't understand what the fuck the point of an asexual advocate is. Literally no one <laughs> understands what the point of an asexual advocate is. You okay? laughed in the face of your last interlocutor. All right, it's pretty history. straightforward. You it's do? Because not... you probably yeah. made something up in your head, but I'm oh. interested I, in what it I, what it is. I, hey, listen, I am a, I am a strong friend of the asexuals, okay? <laughs> Every woman I interview- Meat fucker! Thanks for the gifted tier one sub. I really appreciate that. To Eon Wagoneer. All right, chat, maybe we'll should, we should have some discourse before we start. What's my take on advocating for asexual rights? Uh, so I guess that would mean um, getting asexual people into- uh, protected by anti-discrimination laws. I, so obviously if you could just do that, yeah, sure. Um, the problem is, is I guess like I, I would take it from a, a perspective of political capital is that how much energy are you willing to invest into this achievement? Because I don't actually know if asexual people like suffer for a lack of legal discrimination protection on the grounds that they're asexual are employers like do you lose rights as a as an employee if you're asexual do you uh, is there specific discrimination like that happens against asexual people i don't know i know there are lots of social things like people are socially really bad with it but i just wonder if you ever like how often an asexual people person needs to you know get legal recourse for discrimination i don't know huh Maybe we'll find out in the debate. Interact with, in fact, turns out to the be an fact, asexual. The so. fact that you know they're asexual is just, they're lying to you to get you to go away. It's, I'm sorry. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> wow, that's oh, actually God. exactly what I wanted to Ad talk hominem. about. Okay. Which is that people think <laughs> that asexual attack. is basically just a way of describing another problem, right? But some people do just not have that kind of libido. Some people are not interested in sex. Some people just don't swing that way. And I think that it's valuable to have, you know, teenagers growing up thinking, oh, maybe I'm not broken. Maybe this is actually fine. Maybe sex doesn't have to be a part of my life. I value it. Most people value it. But like anything else, it should be enough to say, I'm asexual, and everyone goes, oh, okay, I guess I'm not doing that with you then. And you fuck off in the same way that, you know, people who don't respect homosexuality will hear a girl say, I'm a lesbian, and then go, yeah, but like, are you really? Are you sure I can't move that needle? You know, <laughs> it's so the exact same kind of... Uh, Smug big yeah, over here. Same fucking um, idea. Okay, so this sounds like you're not uh, doing anything but creating awareness of okay. asexuals. And an what, what understanding of this is? preference. If you listened to what the person was saying, they were arguing that they want to make, they want the state to intervene and to end discrimination against asexuals. That is the dumb fuckery that I don't understand. And I really, I, for my sanity, I'm going to need you to acknowledge what the fuck that has to happen legislatively for asexual people to not get discriminated against. What? Just add, them, just add them to discriminated classes. How? What do you mean, how? How do you add lesbians to discriminated are we, are... classes? Do they check how many women you fucked in the last week? 
<laughs> if someone is asexual, how are they being discriminated against? Oh. If well, that's, this is what, so Smokebug needs to prove that there are like situations where someone has had to maybe go to an employment tribunal or there's been some kind of like, like maybe a hate crime or something like against someone because they were asexual, that there would have to be a reason to give them that uh, legal protection, that there's like enough of a systemic issue there. Because again, it's like, it's not just that you should say, obviously the world would be a better place if like, if it was there, but it's, it's how much political capital you think it's like worth, you know? Yeah, unfortunately. Lesbian, how are they being discriminated no, against? No, no, Let's that's the, no, you're, what you're talking Look, about is understand. love who you I, want. What you're talking about is love uh -huh. who you want, the ability to marry who you want, the ability they can to, yeah. so if someone is asexual and their struggle in life is not being interested in sex or and not having a libido for sex, uh -huh. where are they getting discriminated? Oh, that's if the big people question. Don't know million that dollar sexual people exist, then they're going to be discriminated against. So in you're dating pools. They're going to be discriminated against if they're not part. So of... again, dating pools isn't a uh, getting discriminated against in legal pool pool and dating pools isn't a legal issue. That's not like a protected class issue, right? Um, fuck. Okay. In like dating the... pools. That's what we're yeah, talking I mean... about. What can the state do? You want mandatory boyfriends and girlfriends for asexuals? Uh oh. What the fuck are you talking about? You I already said, said they're going to get discriminated them, in dating include pools. Them, include, yeah, right. That's the that's the awareness and advocacy part. When it comes to the legal part, okay. adding them to discriminated groups. That's pretty straightforward. No, it's not straightforward. Any sexuality can be part of that. It's not straightforward. You want <laughs> any no, sexuality. No, it is. It's literally. Monka, that is literally yeah, sweat. Yeah, that is literally it. Just add them to the fucking discrimination um laws that's literally all you need to do do you understand and have, okay, and have what, people be aware that it being exists. being in the laws what does it do oh where like where are they find, where, it makes where it, are it asexuals makes, finding it, discrimination just tell me if it exists today there are probably areas where asexuals are discriminated against in, probably you know, know. Where uh, he, this, this is like the core of his argument though right if he's talking about legal protection you need to show where the discrimination is where like where is an asexual person been like had to go to court over something on the grounds because they were asexual but the court just doesn't recognize it they just recognize it as like a normal crime not hate crime or something or like employer discrimination right that's what you need is Imagine it happening do you understand do you know what blue laws are uh no what's a blue law a blue law is basically a law that is on the books most likely a state law um, mm -hmm. state or county or city law that is on the books is not enforced. But the effort it takes to get it removed at, like from law is time, effort, and taxpayer money because it requires uh, like legislative or whatever. People have to get together and and actually waste time to do so. What you're asking for... Why does it for, need to be removed? Well, that's the thing, that they've decided it's not worth it. It's not worth the taxpayer money. It's not worth the time to stop what they're doing to remove a law in Florida that says you can't break more than three dishes on a Sunday. Wait, that wait, wait. Are asexual people already legally covered? Because, um... No, 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 no. I think you guys are wrong. In the UK, it's the, the Equality Act is uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, or heterosexual. So that's what they... I don't think they include asexual, do they? Do they? Sexual orientation is when you're attracted to... Yeah, you're talking about the only country that matters. Give me the... Give me the American law. The Equality Act doesn't cover asexual people. There's a, this is a... Fuck, this is a problem! Apparently. So I've been told right now by Swagbug. It's, it's ludicrous, no one's going to jail, to jail for it, and no one's holding a fucking hearing and placing a vote and doing the administrative cost to remove uh, a law like that because it's useless waste of time waste of resources right would you agree this doesn't seem relevant to the conversation it we're having, seems like but... you want a useless thing incorporated into the law and there's actually people advocating for it and probably getting uh -oh. money and donations to advocate for something that who the fuck needs why, right. why is if there a... she's a fucking bulldozer holy shit i uh Cherry's always been quite nice to me. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Fuck me. If you're an asexual person in the workplace and people start and people find out about this because you go I out. I need to disagree with Cherry on something. Get my fucking hands dirty. Jesus. Or, you know, in, in the, for the company drinks. Okay. 
Thank you, partial pressure. Huh. Protections against employment discrimination based on sexual orientation. Now wait, where's the sexual orientation? Define it. Please. Uh, oh. This is, they don't elaborate, so I guess it's anything. So what we need to know now is, are there cases where someone has been discriminated against and had to go to court? And it was considered the fact that they were, they were discriminated against on the basis that they were asexual. Yeah, yeah. People are talking, they're talking, talking about, about their relationships sex? as they normally do. And then, yeah, in, in the that workplace, people talk about- People talk about that shit at the pub. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you live in some puritanical no, place in the US. No, come people, on. People okay, talk about, I feel like you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do this. People, who, people talk about who they're dating in the workplace. Don't be a fucking idiot. Okay, people talk you about can their talk. Partners. No, asexual people date? Yeah, do they I do. Do I know more about asexuals than you do? They still freaking date. They don't... It's your sex drive. It's your First sex all, life. Some of them... Nobody not always, at work always hold should on. be talking there about some their people, sex life. Some people are... Some people are asexual and aromantic. Some people are asexual and My can guy, still be romantic. No right? one is getting held back at work because they won't share stories about their personal sex life. Oh, it's all no. about being held back at work. It's about being treated differently for the thing you are, for right? If people, you guys aren't finding anything. Damn, this is what we need. Yes, the researchers, the hive mind, learner box chat. Nothing gets past you guys, all right? I'm fucking, I'm stupid, but I will watch you guys. You guys will feed me all my fuel. Because you're saying, not oh, talking about oh. how you're hitting it from the back. Like, what are you missing out on? This is like, if you this say is you're meme. asexual, this is the meme where you, people are at the party. Say, there's a wiki. <laughs> yes. Wait, right, there's a wiki on fucking everything, though. Wait, uh, this is, uh, is this legal? Where's legal? Legal. Institutionalized. Little evidence of institutional discrimination against asexuals. Uh,. In some jurisdictions, marriages can be voided if not legitimized by consummation. Bro, that's wild. Sex education programs have been known to discriminate against asexuals. God, if only Luglug had looked at the Wikipedia for the uh, position he's holding, eh? <laughs> he could have bulldozed this person. Let's see. But it's, well, no, I don't know. If someone, if you got a marriage voided because you didn't fuck the person, like, what's this, what's this link? It's whether or not, it, like, there has to be a court case on it, right? Like, you'd have, where well, you have to get legal recourse. Voided? Marriage? I would say asexual. That's obviously the most common word, okay. Marriage? be consummated we'll look for three consummation is not necessary to make marriages valid a ceremonial marriage is valid notwithstanding that it is not consummated by coition did wikipedia lie this is this like an old thing it's from the past non-consummated marriage is not void that's ohio 75 uh in the immigration context, failure to consummate by itself does not render a marriage a sham marriage. But under immigration law, proxy marriages in which both the spouses are not physically present for the ceremony are not recognized unless they are subsequently. So that's got, this is like not an asexual problem then, right? That's, that's like a, this is an immigrant problem. Bro, Wikipedia. Is there more for consummate? Let's go for all of it. Let's be thorough. While fraud is not generally grounds for avoiding a marriage, uh, fraudulent intent not to consummate the marriage. If it's going to be fraudulent. Immigration law. Oh, the kind of sexual requirements such a marriage probably have. Uh, failure to consummate renders a marriage voidable, not void. So the other party would have to want to void the marriage. Former spouses can evoke the law in ways which would not, not expect before marriage, out of spite. Oh. The fact that they've only said it's a vulnerability without using examples is a, maybe a bit telling. Courts have tended to focus on the ability to sexually consummate the marriage. 
Uh, okay. So I guess there's potential there, but... Yeah. You know, the one guy's in the corner and they're like, I'm asexual and they don't even know. Like, why yeah, does if... anyone need to know? Okay, so your your plan is for them to hide their identity, is that it? I'm not saying no hide their though. identity. I don't Sorry. lose what, my that's shit. Like what you're advocating I don't for. lose my shit because my stream... Immigration law might be the only place where you can annul a marriage due to non-consummation. Yeah, and that's even in context. So for that, you would just want to change the immigration law. But that's not really a... a they've, they've only said it might make uh, asexuals vulnerable, but like they, they wouldn't... They, there's no examples, so I don't know doesn't know i'm a furry on the side like that's uh, some things are freaking private like i don't need laws uh, on the books to make sure that me as a furry uh, and that i get to where those talk about things it. and in the cases where those private things end up becoming public information with or without your consent do you think that it should be acceptable to discriminate against people based on those private things like the asexuality how is someone discriminating you against you for no, being asexual? No, I'm asking asexual? you if it should be acceptable. I feel like you have to qualify no, no, a problem, a to, concern I to you want to legislative the action. Why are you pivoting away from this? Why can't you just say, uh, I don't think they should pivot. be discriminated against based on this private pivot. aspect I don't of their understand life. what it means to discriminate. Say. I don't understand what it means to discriminate against asexuals in the workplace. You oh, literally Jessica, have to explain it. Sexual, she's just frigid. Ah, she just hasn't found the right you man. You literally just said that they're going to miss out on some on things at work that they can't talk about no, like I, other I people well, who have on. sex no, drives do. Whoa, whoa, I didn't say what that. What fucking job needs whoa, people whoa, to talk about sex? I did not say that, Cherry. I didn't say that. You made that up on your side. I did. I just said, Jessica, asexual. Nah, she's just frigid. Frigid. She just needs a good dick in it. That's it. That's, That's sexual it. The harassment. You don't need That's to sexual. be asexual to be protected against that. You need asexuality to be a protected class for it to be relevant in discrimination. No, you suit. don't have to deal with sexual yes, harassment do. at the workplace. You don't have to. It, we're not only protecting asexuals for that. Or there's no, no calling, loophole. It's calling there's frigid. no loophole it's calling where frigid. a motherfucker is asexual, so it's okay to do that. That's not <laughs> loophole. Calling someone frigid is sexual harassment. Yeah. In, making like making it awkward at work because you're you're saying stuff about someone's like sex life or or sexualizing them at, in any way at the at the workplace that is sexual harassment okay, no but so wait what if um what if uh, uh what if what if someone only gets sexually harassed because they were asexual like is that just sexual harassment or should that be like a like a hate crime or Because I don't know, what if, um, is it, the, is it the same crime if a woman sexually harasses a man at work versus the other way around? Are they, is that just like the same crime or is it just being protected class, like i.e. woman or like a trans person? I think that's a better example. Someone sexually harasses a man at the workplace, someone sexually harasses a trans woman at the workplace. Is that like, are they the same crime or has one of them uh, got an extra qualifier because it's discriminatory? Or, uh... So if I were to say, oh, you just haven't found the right man, that's probably why you're asexual, you would say that's sexual harassment? Yeah, you're sexually just... harassing them at the workplace. I don't think that's sexual harassment. Saying, oh, you just haven't found the right man, that's probably why you don't you, think you that's think sexual asexual. harassment by prying into that's... someone's, like... Life? It's not like crying that? in. I think that's. I think that's discriminatory. But I, I th think if you said that, you could take that to like an HR department, right? I would imagine. I think that's where the difference is. What a sexual harassment is? She just needs a good dick. Discriminatory is. Well, <laughs> I, I'm just dismissing your identity. I'm just dismissing. I need to do this. I need emotes flying over the screen. Your, you know, sexuality. Shit. No, what you're asking for is someone to respect them being asexual. Yeah. That's what you want, right? Right, yeah, right. And I'm and the saying way we any conversation that respect in laws, I'm saying yeah. Any absolutely. conversation around that at the workplace is already sexual harassment. It's not allowed. I don't I don't see how you can say that you just haven't found the right guy yet is sexual harassment. It is. You it's think discriminatory. You do you think it's appropriate can... for anyone at the workplace to tell someone else that they need to find the right guy? Um yeah, to, that's to pretty fucking drive. inappropriate. You think that that's not like, inappropriate? 
I, I'm saying it's inappropriate. I'm saying it's not sexual harassment. My, I'm the one defending laws that would make it inappropriate. You're no, the one trying to creating, leave this thing open, You are creating new laws to be fucking useless, to drain people I of money so you can advocate you for some bullshit that's already it. protected against. I no just one needs the to know. And you're no to one needs to know that you're not getting this. fucking laid at the water cooler. No one fucking cares. <laughs> and, and no one needs to know that you're gay. Don't ask, don't tell. Am I right, Cherry? No, that's... Well, what's the so difference? what you're talking about with no one needs to know <laughs> you're gay, you're, you're basically saying... What's the you're difference, comparing, Cherry? You're comparing the, the fact Cherry? somebody bringing their husband to the company party or someone posting pictures of their husband and them like on their office cubicle, whereas the person who's asexual is putting up posters, I don't have a sex drive and this is okay. Please. Yeah, wait, the, wait, the asexual person might bring their partner to a thing. Um, when's it gonna, like, if it comes up, if someone wants to pry into whether or not they're fucking, yeah, of course that's like harassment, right? No, that I'm asexual. Like, oh, uh, yeah, let's, those let's are make not up the a same completely fucking deranged. Thing. I know they're not the same thing. One of them is we something that would Your never happen. Your vagina's dry. Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> no, don't, guys, Smugbug isn't stupid, all right? This is why I like Smugbug. Smugbug takes fucking batshit positions and just... <laughs> He's so entertaining. I, I, don't reg I have no regrets for amplifying Smugbug. I have none. Look at him. He's so cute. With his, little, his little fucking Nazi vegan hat. <laughs> and whatever this is, his bug shell. He's a final frontier of Twitch bot. Yes, that's exactly what he is. He's the he's the final solution to the Twitch poll problem. But yeah, he could have like he you can tell he doesn't <laughs> Apparently it didn't take that long to find out that he doesn't really have a leg to stand on in this one. Uh Keep it to your fucking okay. self, Nancy. That's what I'm saying. There's your, Nancy. There's your sexual harassment right there. That would be sexual harassment. You see how you don't have to put anything about asexuals in the fucking, uh, in, right, in any said, laws? Because that would be sexually the harassing them. Okay, am I sexually it's harassing a lesbian? If you already, I say, no, you, you just acknowledge I sexually harass. Right so there you go. I fucking win. No. It is sexual both, harassment. Wait you, wait, you win? Hold on, this is how you take dubs? You just scream yeah, sexual harassment yeah, to people? Yeah, that is how I take dubs. See, you agree with me. We already agree on the sexual harassment component. The part, I don't know how you can't see the line here, but the line is the difference between discriminatory behavior that isn't inherently sexual and sexual harassment. We both agree on the sexual harassment component. What the debate is about, welcome, is about where the line is on the discriminatory behavior that might not necessarily fall under sexual harassment laws. How I don't can see somebody get discriminated many... over whether or not they're having sex with their partner? How? I gave you, I, I, I already gave you an example. No, you, you didn't. You just haven't found the right you guy. You did not right? give me an As, example. You're that pretending, is dismissing your you are pretending like you said something. An example. Say it again, the example. I've said it four times now. Open your fucking ears, woman, all right? Once again, wow. Are you ready? Texas. Once yeah, again. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah well, well, there you go. There's your discrimination. Oh, no. <laughs> Once again, you just haven't found the right guy would not be a sexual harassment on a lesbian or an asexual, but it would be discriminatory because it Why? dismisses their identity. Here we go. Let me ask yes? you this. Why are you telling someone you just haven't found the right guy? Uh... Because you don't think that asexuality is real, or you don't think lesbianism is real. That would be the root of that. Why would that conversation spark up at the workplace? Because all kinds of conversations spark up at the workplace. Where the fuck do you work? Oh, you don't have a job. What, like, what the fuck do you think I've actually happens before. in the workplace? What? Oh, gr great. So what when? you're saying again <laughs> is just sexual when? harassment. If somebody, Jesus if you guys Christ. are having getting, a conversation oh no. about personal. your sex life Poisonal. at the workplace, first of all, it's already inappropriate. Number two, to interject and tell someone like, oh, actually, the problem with your marriage or your relationship, you're probably not asexual. You probably just haven't found the right guy. What the fuck is discrimination there? It's almost like the person is engaging in a conversation, complaining about something, or they're a fucking weirdo and they're like, oh yeah, I have a husband, but we don't have sex. Like, why are you sharing that at work? You, I'm not making laws for the social retards that are in this world that think that, oh, I can't go five fucking minutes without mm. people knowing I'm asexual. You're not getting discriminated. So need, You're being fucking we weird laws? at work. Why do we need laws? Why do we need laws? Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> being gay at work is weird. Being no, I said at work you're being is weird being at true. work. If you're going to work true. and you need people to know <laughs> that you and your yeah. fucking husband <laughs> don't have sex, <laughs> there's something <laughs> wrong with you. Oh, that's perfect. Let's do it. All right, talking about any part of your sexual identity at work. True. Let's keep yes, that all hidden. Yeah, it's inappropriate. All right?
It is you inappropriate. You will hide your identity in your corpo job. You will suit up, tie up, no fucking self-expression. I'm sorry, if your identity is around right. the fact that you're not better fucking, go to better therapy. Better cover the shoulders at Walmart. Absolutely. Go get a therapist. Tell them about your problem. Don't tell your coworkers, okay? Because Ooh. if you tell your coworkers and then you get feedback like about it, you can other. be that like, oh, badly, I'm being discriminated. It? Probably keep your fucking sex life to yourself. Don't share it, like, at the fucking big water fountain. The thing we've learned here, Cherry, is that you were unable to make any friendships at work. <laughs> I think that's the self-report that I'm done with, all right? That's, uh... Oh, God. See? He doesn't care. He just, he sees the bright side of, uh, of everything. <laughs> Even though he's, he maybe got a bit dumpstered here. <laughs> Jesus. I'm fine Fuck with that. Me. I don't want to make friends with the the Nancys who need to tell me about how dry their pussy is. Ooh. Mm. Uh, uh, Keep it to yourself. Okay. Grumble. I, I understand. I'm in Grumble. the middle of taking of calls and like typing up documents. I don't need to know so cool. about your fucking uh, sandpaper Nancy, I'm ben Shapiro the minutes. ass walk. I'm actually writing the minutes. <laughs> I'm actually writing for the, the minutes for the agenda right now. Could you please not talk about your dry pussy? Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, look, I, I'm glad Thanks that you managed to on. get out of the... Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Uh, I'm glad <laughs> that you managed to find a domain where you could treat people like this and make friends that are equally deranged rather than Thank trying you. to... Thank you. And I'm glad you found Mormons. a space right. where you could talk about dog fucking more. Yes. The, the hey, I didn't expert. mention dog fucking once, but keep running, Cherry! The dog you, brothels sat you in your heels! Introduced oh, yeah, she was. I was supposed to hook them up for that debate. Yeah, I was. Yourself to me as the dog fucking expert. Oh my god, this person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that was a good show. That was a very good debate. Smug bug. <laughs> Where are those dog faces? <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't regret choosing this one. That was a good debate. That was a solid.